This summer's We Are All George Heriot campaign set out to raise funds for a new six-year bursary at George Heriot School. In March, filming began for the official campaign film, with powerful contributions from former bursary pupils Phil, Caroline, Charles, Fahim, Faria and Fabia. Having the bursary, it gave me the confidence to feel that I could do whatever I wanted to do. The Harriet's bursary affected my life because it opened doors. Harriet's has just given me so much. I love the bursary and I'm very thankful for it. None of us would have gone on to do what we do now had it not been for the generosity of others. In May, six intrepid cyclists set out to cycle the 480-mile route to London, setting off from Gladsmuir in East Lothian, George Heriot's birthplace. Hi, this is Penny. Penny, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very nervous, but it's going to be fine. Doesn't show, doesn't tell. <laughs> Despite a foggy start, the team was in good spirits as they set off on the first leg of the 104 miles to Hexham in North England. The journey would involve four days in the saddle, averaging over 100 miles and eight hours of cycling each day. On May 19th, the six tired but happy cyclists arrived at St Martin's in the Field in London, the resting place of George Heriot. May also saw the Row 400 event. Today we're rowing 400 kilometres for the We Are George Heriot campaign. We've got PE classes uh, with S3s, S4s, and P7s coming down to, to help and uh, they're all rowing around about 2,000 metres each um, and we're making really good progress so far. So we have about 220 children taking part in this today so um, we're really pleased to get so many people involved. As you can see it's really energetic down here. We're almost at our halfway mark. It's around about 12 o'clock so we've still got a few hours left in the day. Uh, I think we're going to hit our target. I've just finished my 10k, it's been really great, I'm happy I've done it, we're all trying to contribute, there's some relays going on, morale's really high, everyone's having an absolutely great time, we're all enjoying it. May also saw the S5 Cayley Club come together to raise money, the Junior School Summer Concert and Contenders Ready events. In June, hundreds of pupils, staff, parents and former pupils joined Run 400. So Run 400 is a 400 lap event around Heriot's. We've got groups of students who are carrying a baton around the site and the idea is that baton completes 400 complete 800 metre loops around the site. It'll be around 200 miles in total and will take around 30 hours for the baton to go around 400 times. Pupils and staff and former pupils and parents are running thousands of laps, but it's about that baton completing 400 continuous laps um, around the site. We've got a team of people taking part at night, a team of around 20 people, and these are staff, their parents, people who are falling over themselves to come out and run at one, two, three, four in the morning. It was very quiet here at 6 o'clock in the morning. We started running at 7 and then at about 7.20 after just a few solo runners went round, we had breakfast club and from that moment on the atmosphere has been really positive and engaged and exciting. People just want to be involved. In fact, I'm surprised how much people want to be involved. Runners on the other side of the world included Dr Andrew McGonagall, who ran 10 kilometres across Sydney, taking in the iconic Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. In June, a pipe band recital on the lawns raised nearly £1,000. Former pupil June Sutty ran the Stockholm Marathon, cyclists pedalled 40 miles to Gladsmuir, and pupils collaborated with Stoats Oak Bars. George Dalgleish gave a public lecture about George Heriot, the drama department produced a performance about George Heriot, while Head of Senior School won the Grow a Goatee Like George competition. Campaign champions must be Alexander and Eloise, who climbed 4,413 feet to the summit of Ben Nevis on one very cold day. In July, former pupil Dave Goodwin played a round of golf dressed in 17th century attire as founder George. Here's a reminder of events and totals which helped raise a magnificent £98,000.
thank you to the Harriet's community for making this campaign such a success and donating and enabling us to meet the £98,000 target. Your kindness is legendary. One six-year bursary starting August 2025 is funded thanks to you.